Today, we're going to learn about an editing technique that professional editors use to speed up their workflow called pancake editing. In this video, we'll cover what is pancake editing, how to create pancake editing in Adobe Premiere Pro, how to use pancake editing effectively, the benefits and usefulness of pancake editing. Wait a minute. It's the end of the video. I'll show you how to save all your hard work as a preset, saving you time and effort in future projects. Thank you. So, what exactly is pancake editing? Well, it's a technique where you stack multiple timelines on top of each other, just like a stack of fluffy pancakes on a plate. This method helps editors find the best takes of a scene and speeds up the overall editing process. To use pancake editing, you'll need a video editing software that supports multiple timelines. In this video, we'll be working with Adobe Premiere Pro. Alright, let's fire up Premiere Pro and create a new sequence. I'll name this first timeline Timeline 1. Let's drag some nature shots into this timeline and label them for easy organization. Feel, feel free to choose your preferred color for the labels, I'm going with green. Next up, we'll add some indoor coffee shots. Simply select and drag them into the timeline. And don't forget to add a label color to keep things nice and tidy. Now that we have our clips, let's make some adjustments. You can change the scale value to get things just right. Make sure everything fits the screen nicely. Perfect. Perfect. It's time to create a new timeline. Select all the clips, create a new bin, and move them into it. Let's name this bin final. Now, let's create another timeline. Press Ctrl plus N to create a new sequence and give it a name, let's call it Timeline 2. You can choose any name you like. I'm just here to show you an example. Once you've created your timelines, it's time to stack them on top of each other. Simply drag and drop them in the timeline panel. You can drag up and down where you like. Now you have a rough cut timeline and a final cut timeline. For better viewing, you can adjust your workspace to make it more convenient. Here, we have our rushes or raw footage. And there's our final edit. Now, it's as simple as selecting a clip from the rough cut timeline and dragging it onto the final timeline. Let's start with the best starting shot. Just drag and drop it into the final timeline. Continue this process by selecting and dragging other suitable clips from the rough cut timeline into the final timeline. You'll see how smoothly your work flows between these two timelines, saving you time and effort. That's the beauty of pancake editing. Now, let's trim and cut out the unnecessary parts. Move your playhead and use the keyboard shortcuts Q and W to make precise cuts. Scale the clips to fit the screen, and adjust the speed if needed. Just drag and drop from one timeline to another, making your work much easier. You can also use the source window in the first timeline for even better editing. To do this, go to the bin, select a timeline, right-click, and choose Open in Source Window and timeline will open in here. You can see. We can drag into timeline. Simply click here. And select this option. And it's done. Our sequence is now open in timeline. This way, you can work more efficiently instead of playing clips one by one. Now that you're familiar with the process, it's time to drag the timeline just like we did before. Your pancake timeline is ready for editing. Select the clips, set the in and out points, and drag them into the timeline. Alternatively, press the comma key on your keyboard to automatically insert the clip. See how much faster and easier is to cut and edit with the pancake editing technique Compared to selecting and cutting clips one by one in the source window, it's a game changer. 
so, feel free to use this technique based on what works best for you, whether it's using the source window and two timelines, rough and final, or any other combination that suits your editing style. To save even more time in the future, you can create a preset with your pancake timeline. Just make it the way you like it, go to the window menu, and click on save as a preset. This way, you won't have to recreate it again. Go to the window, workspace, here you can see your pancake editing preset, simply click on it, that's it. If you need more timelines, go ahead and create them. Simply create a new timeline and stack it on top of the existing ones, just like adding more layers to your pancake stack. In this, we're only using two, but feel free to add as many as you're comfortable with. And that's it. Now you're equipped with the pancake editing technique, a powerful tool to enhance your video editing workflow. Come on, man.